My name is Louis Dorfman. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering here at Tufts University. In collaboration with some of my colleagues, we work uh, primarily on soft tissue mechanics, engineering, and biology. We have here some of the equipment which has been purchased with a grant for the Keck Foundation, and the objective is to build uh, systems and develop new materials which are inspired by biology. In this particular case, we look at the caterpillar Manduca sexta, which has been uh, part of the Barry Trimmer Laboratory for many years, and the objective is, can we build something similar to that in our lab? Well, my name is Francesco Pancheri. I'm a Tufts University uh, part-time PhD student, and I work in the Mechanics of Soft Materials Laboratory. We uh, featured the stretching of a sample of dragon skin, which is a two-part silicon rubber. We performed the test first uniaxially and then uh, biaxially with uh, the new Zwick machine that we just uh, took delivery of. The Zwick biaxial tester machine will enable us to characterize and optimize the design of the anisotropic material, which is chosen to reproduce the properties of, one of, uh, the, of the ones present in the Manduka. The Zwick machine is a custom-built machine. It's comprised of four linear screw-driven actuators. They're independently controlled, and they're mounted on a sturdy uh, aluminum frame, stru frame structure. And the machine is also equipped with a video extensometer. The video extensometer is also used to control the specimen stretch. The, the, the area of interest is defined by the gauge mark that are present both in the longitudinal and or transverse direction of the specimen. This is an area of research that offers much opportunity for investigation and understanding, and full characterization of anisotropic materials requires testing with equipment such as this, which is extremely rare to find in universities.